Okay, so the, the way that we usually start most of our interviews is we ask our interviewees to tell us about the development and emergence of their feminist identity. Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, so I, um, I, I'm actually an immigrant to the U.S. from Austria. I spent my childhood living in many different countries. My um, parents were um, working for the Foreign Service, so we lived in Nigeria, Brazil, Spain, Yugoslavia. But anyway, when I, my father always wanted me to come to a college in the U.S., uh, I think to meet a Jewish husband, which is very funny in hindsight. <laughs> so I went to Smith College, which is also funny because Smith, you know, is, was not yet the hotbed of lesbianism as it is today, but certainly, you know, was already beginning to be a very feminist college. And I was 17 years old. I had never really lived in the U.S. Um, I had been educated in American schools abroad or British schools, but I didn't know a lot of things about U.S. culture. So my first week in my house, as it was called at Smith College, um, we had a house meeting, and the house president was a senior, you know, college student. Um, Lynn Kramer was her name, and she said to us, among other all the other rules of the house, she said, now, um, a man has been seen on the top floor of our house, and I was sure she was going to say, lock your doors, don't walk alone, come in early, but instead she said, and so if we see him, let's tackle him all together. <laughs> you know, you know, there's 80 of us, and there's one of him, and that was to me the beginning of feminism, that, you know, this is incredible. We are a large group of women, and this is one guy who's yeah. harassing us. So I really thank uh, Lynn Kramer, wherever she is today. I know she's a judge, um, you know, for that. And, and then I became very interested, obviously, in women's issues and feminism. So I went to Smith in 1972, right after the 1968 sort of women's movement. So it was really really a great time to be at a women's college and we would see films and whenever there was a sexist scene everybody would hiss you know the whole audience mm -hmm. and I, I just loved being in this community of women so that was really the beginning of feminism. Neat. Neat. Can you talk to us more about the sorts of different things so you just mentioned like watching films together what other sorts of activities were you participating in and what was it what was just the general tone to be going through school with women at that time? Mm -hmm. Yeah you know it's it's interesting today because I am in a women's Women's Studies Department and our students would actually I think look down on the idea of an all women's college that somehow it wouldn't be as good as or that you know it isn't the real world but it was just so exciting at the time and there was you know so much sexism in the outside mm -hmm. world so um, I mean very much women's colleges were seen as girls schools you know but what was great was that even the Ivy Leagues like Yale had just gone co-ed a few years back so it was still a place where really elite women would go. I think today there would be much more pressure on young women to go to Harvard or Yale or, you know, I mean, there was no Harvard for women then, it was Radcliffe and so on. Um, but it was just, you know, one of the things that happens at a women's college is the, the class president is a woman, the head of every varsity team is a woman. If a professor is looking for a assistant, of course it has to be a woman. And, you know, that may not seem that radical today, but it was just amazing that mm -hmm. women were in all the leadership positions. I mean, we still had male faculty, obviously, and um, my first two years we still had a male president. Then we had a female president, mm -hmm. uh, Jill Conway, who actually came from Toronto, I don't know if you know her, um, to be the first president of Smith. So I think it was just that excitement that we are all women and, you know, the world is sexist, but we're going to be this group of leaders that will change the world and, you know, kill the patriarchy or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.